Hello everyone, this is Zach again. Um, today I'm just going to be talking about how to set a Go Stone. Um, a lot of us uh, play Go, we don't actually have a board. And uh, I know I got quite strong before I even had a board. So uh, a lot of us, even if we're strong, don't even know how to set a stone. Which of course can come in handy if you want to go ahead and play at a local tournament or something. So, um, that's what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, the, uh, consider the best way to hold a ghost stone is to take your index finger and your middle finger, put your index finger at the bottom of the stone, and put your middle finger slightly bent on the top of the stone like so. And then you just set it down. So, um... You don't generally want to pick up a ghost stone like this uh, right out of the bowl because it can be kind of difficult. Um, you can uh, do it, but uh, it's easier just to pick it up uh, with your um, index finger and thumb out of the bowl. And then uh, this is generally how you switch it. You simply switch your index finger with your middle finger and then switch your thumb with your index finger like so and then you have the standard hold again so I'll do it again when you pick it up you pick it up like this out of the bowl then you swap your uh, index finger with your middle finger swap your thumb with your index finger and then place the stone so um, another thing you can do is uh, if it's upside down especially with Unity stones, you can't actually place them like this, you have to switch them around. So uh, when we pick them up, uh, even you can do this with double convex also. Uh, with double convex it's kind of like uh, considered to be kind of a trick, although it's not really hard to do. Um, all you do is you curve it up with your index finger, like so, and then you put your middle finger on top, and then you flip it around like that. So I'll do it a little bit faster, have it like this, and then you just flip it around like that, and then place the stone again. It's useful to know this if you're using single convex stones. Um, with double convex, uh, you don't really need to do it. You can just use uh, the style where you just go like this. Uh, but it's still nice to know if you're ever playing with single convex stones, or you just want to show off to your opponent. Um, so when you place the stone, uh, maybe I should make it a little bit easier for you to see the board. When you place a stone, um, it's usually best not to set it right on the intersection you want to uh, put it on if you're sitting next to a stone. Sorry. Let's say there's a white black stone right here. So, um, white, uh, if you want to set it right here, it's hard to try to actually set it like right on the intersection. It might take you a little bit longer to actually try to do that. So it's easier just to set it near the intersection and then push it over to the intersection you want to put it at. This isn't against the rules or anything. You could really place it way up here and slide it all the way down to your stone as long as you don't let go of the stone. Um, also, uh, this is a little bit unrelated to how to set stones, but it's a uh, it's a rule a lot of people uh, don't know. At least, I, I'm not sure if this is true with uh, Japanese rules and stuff, but um, with AGA rules, if you uh, set a stone like this, um, you can't pick it back up. Even if your fingers haven't left the stone, uh, you still cannot pick it back up if you set it on the board. That's AGA rules. I'm not sure about other rules. But um, I think that's about it for how to set a stone. If you have any questions or anything, uh, just leave a comment or message me, and um, I'll see you guys all later.